Hey everyone, Megan Olivi here in Orlando, Florida, and I'm joined by former UFC heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos, who takes on Alistair Overeem this Saturday night. Thanks for joining me, Junior. Thank you, Megan. Nice to see you again. You too. It's been about a year since we've seen you compete inside the Octagon. Yeah. What has that downtime been like for you? Uh, it's pretty, pretty hard, you know. <laughs> yeah, like the last two years were very hard for me, you know. And that fight, my last fight was against Mio Cic last mm -hmm. December. Well, I just want to, you know, let all these things behind and now walk forward for new things. Being that you did have a year off, for a guy that competes for a living, do you kind of go a little stir crazy, like wanting to do things even though you know that you probably can't? I think we athletes, you know, we are, we live from that, you know, that's everything we, what we do is training so yeah. we have to train every day you know and that makes me feel when I don't train it makes me feel nervous make, makes me feel like you know I, I'm not I'm not as nice as I am normal <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's it within the past year you've also made a big life change you started doing a camp at ATT yeah. how did that decision come about I really like it you know to be here in America training the facilities here are, way better for us, you know, the structure of the gym, the, uh, like to bring uh, heavy weights to help us, you know, that's, everything is easier, you know. So then uh, I was thinking about it and I said, man, maybe it's the time. And I, I, I know everybody from, <laughs> from ATT, then I was stuck with them and they said, man, you should come and try. And I, I decided to come and I, I really like to be there, you know. They treat me very well and they give me a lot of attention. How was the reaction from former training partners in Brazil when you said, hey, I, I want to go to Florida for this camp? I think they were a little surprised with that, you know, but uh, some of them, actually, all of them, you know, they said, yeah, if you, if you feel that, you have to go, you know, and, and try whatever you want to try, you know, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> what do you think made the biggest difference for you in this camp compared to what maybe a camp would be like in Brazil? What do you feel like was the biggest benefit of being in Florida? I think to, you know, the structure of course of the gym of the, you know, we could do everything, every training just in one gym. So uh, no, no, not too much driving. <laughs> it's good. And also we brought some uh, uh, heavyweights to help. Let's talk about Alistair Overeem. This is a fight that I think MMA fans thought would happen many, many times over throughout the years. Why did it not shape up before this matchup on Saturday night? The first time I was champion when I was supposed to fight against him, you know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure about why it, it didn't happen, you know, but I'm happy that it's happening now because, you know, it, he's a great opponent you know everybody knows him like as a, yeah. a tough opponent so it's for me I feel like it's a great opponent to come back and have and show everybody that forgot about Junior Dos Santos. Obviously he's a guy that you've had your eye on then for a long time so you know what skill set he possesses you know where he's good on the feet where he's good on the ground but for you where do you hold the biggest advantage over him? I'm trying to be more confident, you know. I always train you everything, you know, jiu-jitsu, yeah. wrestling, but I'm trying to be more confident during the fight to use those techniques. Sure. But my first strategy will always be trying to knock my opponent out. So I believe so much that I can knock anyone out. Any mistake that he, he does, I will try to take advantage from that and even stand up or in the ground. Sure. So maybe submit him. <laughs> yeah, hey, that'd be interesting. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. we get to see all different ranges of Junior Yeah, we, we have to, to, take, to, to take care because he's he got a pretty good grapple skills. Mm -hmm. We're excited for this matchup. I know fans always love watching you fight because no matter what, you bring the fight, no matter who your opponent is. But I've got to imagine you are fighting in the back of your mind to also prove a point to say, hey, I'm next in line for the belt. Yeah. Actually, right now I'm, I'm trying to come back and, and give a, a good show for the people, but of course uh, prove to, to myself, you know, that I'm still the same guy, you know, I'm actually a little better than I was before because during the fight it's different than in the gym, you know. Of so, course. 
So uh, everything what I want now is to come back and, uh, and get a big win. And if I got the, t the chance to fight for the title, that's great. Next year, I want to do like minimum of three fights because long time I'm not fighting yeah. and I live from that. So, right. <laughs> so it's very important for us, you know. Of course. I want to ask you about something that I find interesting in your answers. You're saying that you're trying to find confidence or you want to be confident. Was there a point where you felt like you were lacking that confidence you needed? No, I, I believe so much in, in, in myself, you know, uh, using my boxing skills, like being a stand -up striker fighter. that I am, you know, yeah. uh, fighting stand up with my opponents. But when the fight goes to the ground, I have always a doubt in my mind, you know, if I have to do this or that. I'm going to tell you, like in the third fight against Ken Velasquez, I had a second plan, you know, a second strategy, you know. Uh, that was to maybe take him, try to take him down, yeah. or even accept the fight on the ground. Right. You know, but uh, uh, as soon as it, he 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 pushed me to the to the cage to the fence, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I was thinking about man, should I try now? And it it can't can't happen during a fight. You can't thinking about. Hesitate. You know? Yeah. You have to do the thing, and that's it. In one second, I I, I thought all these things. So. Uh, I think everything has to be automatic in your mind, you know, yeah. you can't stay thinking about things, you just have to do. That's yeah. why I, I say I have to be more confident, you know, to use my jiu-jitsu and wrestling skills. Do you feel like your training partners and coaches around the ATT camp have helped with that? I think they're helping me a lot, you know, I feel like a kid, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm having good times with them, you know, and I think I'm gonna uh, be better. We are so looking forward to your fight. I do want to ask you about this fight that they announced for February, the Verdum and Kane rematch. I saw you in Mexico City when they fought for the first time. How do you see this rematch going down? Because you're an expert on both of these guys. What was very interesting, very different for me in there in Mexico, I was very surprised with that, was that uh, Kane Velasquez was completely exhausted in the mm -hmm. first round. Yep. That was so different, you know, a guy that I fought and that never gets tired and then in the first round he was tired. Of course Verdun has the jiu-jitsu uh, weapon, let's say, right. to avoid his takedowns and to make him worried about, you know, but I saw that and I said, man, Verdun didn't fight against the same guy I fought, you know. So if, Ver if Velasquez comes for this fight now, with the same stamina as uh, he used to, to have. I think he has a pretty good chance to be the champion again, you know. And, but if don't, I think Verdun will keep it. Excellent. Well, we always appreciate your predictions, but <laughs> we are so looking forward to seeing you fight this Saturday night. Always a pleasure to watch you perform. Best of luck, Thank Junior. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thanks.